Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. I am currently joined by the man who has brought me more happiness than any other man in the world ever. It's Roberto Di Matteo. Thank you so much for talking to me. This really is an honour. Um, Roberto, the first thing I want to ask you is about the FA Cup against uh, the game against Middlesbrough in 1997. Can you talk me through that? Were you born there? I was. I was at the game. Right. I was. At, I was at the game with my dad. I can remember. I can remember it perfectly. No, no. I'm, I'm just. I'm deceptively old. I'm just so. I'm so upset that the day that I meet my hero coincides with me growing in November. This is going to be forever. I'm never, I'm never ever going to live this down. Um, yeah, no, I was at the game. I can remember it. I can remember it really clearly, actually. Um, how was it for you? Well, obviously, um, it's, it's a great memory. It's, uh, it's quite a long time ago now, but uh, I think it was, uh, it was good for the club uh, to win the trophy after so many years. Uh, we had a good team, um, good team spirit as well, and uh, I think everybody involved uh, was pretty happy uh, winning um, the trophy after. 26 years, I think it was. Yeah, 26 and, years yeah, it was. 26 yeah. years, and then uh, being able to play in a European competition the season after. And win it. And win it, yeah. It's fantastic. Um, Roberto, if uh, the last time that Chelsea were going through a rut, which is what we're going through at the moment, we turned to you and you guided us to our most successful season ever. Obviously, everybody wants Mourinho to stay, but if the club were to come knocking again, would you help us out of our current problems? Well, I, I really hope that uh, Mourinho is going to stay uh, long term. Uh, I think uh, stability is so important for a club, and uh, you know, I know we have short memory, but you know, only four months ago uh, we won the double with this team, with the club, and, and it can happen. Uh, Chelsea Football Club has been so successful in the last 15 years, and you know, it can happen that you have a, a bad year. But undoubtedly, there's uh, there's quality in the club or in the team, and, uh, and you know, at the moment the club is uh, one of the best managers in the world. Yeah, absolutely, I completely agree. Um, Roberto, one of my favourite memories, uh, you've, as I say, you've given us so many over the years. But one of my favourites was a goal that you scored again at Stamford Bridge against Middlesbrough. It uh, resulted in a fantastic celebration. Oh, the first goal, the yeah, first, first goal. goal in my uh, in my Chelsea career. That's right. Yeah, can you talk well, me through that celebration at all? Well, to be honest, uh, it wasn't playing at all. It was just uh, in the moment uh, I scored. Uh, it was like uh, towards the end of the game, uh, first home game, and uh, uh, full of joy. Uh, I happened to celebrate in that way, and, uh, and my teammates follow me, and uh, it turned out to be um, a good omen for that season. And uh, and uh, it's it's in the in the history books now. Uh, it really is. But it, it wasn't anything that we. Uh, Pre-planned before the game. Oh, wow. Well, it looked fantastic, and it's actually something that means a lot and has resonated with a lot of Chelsea fans forever. It's something that we've done actually. Um, a group of me and my friends often do the Di Matteo, right. and I think that I do the best. They all think they do the best. Okay. What we need to know from you is who does the best Di Matteo. So, okay, so I'm the judge. Yeah? You are the judge. So this was me. We played Olympiacos away in 2008, I think. That's me doing the Di Matteo in Athens pre-match. Okay. I wouldn't say this one is authentic because you've got BM in front of you, so... It's a European I, away fixture I though. I don't that. think we can count this <laughs> as a good celebration. So I'm out? You are out with this one? I'm gutted. Right, this is a friend of mine called Danny. He is a massive fan of yours and he thinks that he does a very good Demon this, this, this was his Schalke one year. This is pretty good. Uh, it's not bad, it's not bad. Uh, probably the, the arm could be a little bit raised a bit uh, higher. But right. It's pretty good. Okay, and now this was at a friend's wedding. Well, this, this is probably my favourite because uh, it replicates the team, you know. It yeah. me and, and the other players. So I, I would choose this one. So this one. And if you were to pick a winner okay, in amongst... It, so well, this is the winning I, picture. I, I would have to pick the, the Groomsman. Yeah. His name's Steve Canfield. He's going to be delighted. Yeah, and it was obviously his day and uh, I would pick him. Oh, brilliant. Roberto, it's an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for talking to us and thank you for everything you've done for Chelsea Football Club. Thank you. Alright guys, welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. It's Sunday again, it's the end of the week and uh, we're just about to go into an international break. 